Welcome to the Moss Farm, folks. I'm Harry Moss. My family and I have been doing maple sugaring in this area for the last 200 years. Gee, I uh, have loved sugaring all my life. I started in gathering sap and boiling uh, sap on a very small evaporator when I was uh, knee high to a tree toad and could hardly look over the edge of the pan. Come on in the sugar house, folks. And I'll tell you how we do the maple sugar. Good morning, folks. Nice to, morning. nice to see all of you. That uh, picture on the screen was taken early last March. We were having a good run of sap, so we had a, quite a stroke of business going on in here. We boiled sap from about 3,000 sugar maple trees in this operation and we boil the sap in the evaporator over here. When we get the sap in the evaporator, it takes about 40 gallons of sap to make a gallon of syrup. So that's why you see so much steam coming out of the cupola of the sugar house. And above the steam, wood smoke. We burn wood for fuel. It's a resource that we have a lot of up in this neck of the woods. Just about everybody burns wood for fuel. We've got our woodshed full of wood all ready to burn in the arch and under the evaporator next sugaring season. We get warm cutting the wood, get warm burning it, and why in hell should we buy oil from the Arabs? <laughs> Long middle of uh, February when winter starts to let up on us a little bit and some of the days begin to get warmer, we get down the snowshoes and head out in the woods to tap the maple trees. We kind of put away the old bit and bit brace that uh, I used to use when we didn't tap so many trees. And nowadays we use a rather modern little gasoline-powered gadget that uh, I believe was made especially for tapping maple trees in maple country. And considering the fact that maple sugaring is only done in continental North America, it's almost a little bit surprising the damn machine was made in Japan. 